Well, guys, we received some unfortunate information, obviously, uh, in the last few days that uh, we finally got confirmed today, and, and Carson is going to have some wrist surgery on Wednesday and miss uh, six to eight weeks, so uh, the majority of the, the rest of the season. And uh, uh, my heart goes out to him. Obviously, he's a, a big part of our football team, big part of, of our success here. And, um, you know, he's meant so much to our institution, meant so much to uh, our football program, to the community, and, and shoot, meant so much to me personally. I love the kid and, and uh, wish him wish him well. I know he's going to be with us. Uh, he's going to continue to travel with us, uh, uh, even this weekend, and uh, help Easton and Cole as much as he can. But uh, um, we'll find out probably more what they think when he gets out of surgery, how all that stuff went. And I'm sure maybe on Thursday he'll get an opportunity to visit with you guys. But uh, um, I'll open up for questions. How did it happen? Any ideas? He said he landed on it uh, in the game on Saturday. And first he just thought he sprained it. And then from what I understand, it, it just was continued to be sore. And then on Sunday it was sore. And, um, and then uh, I think they got an x-ray on Monday and MRI and CT scan and all those things kind of happened over the last two days. Did he make a mention of, like, during the game, did he say anything to you guys or? You know, he said to Bobby that he landed on his wrist and it was, uh, it was sore, but even Bobby thought, I think he sprained his wrist. And uh, I believe they taped it up and he even went. Is that like late third quarter? Or? No, I think it was early on. It was before halftime. What'd you say to him when you talked to him? Oh, I just said my heart goes out to him, and um, you know, and that's uh, uh, what a, what a tough, tough deal and tough break, and um, you know, and then that's what we kind of shared with the team as well. Is you never know when your last play is going to be. It didn't matter if it were uh, Grant Olson a few years ago to Colton Hegel to Travis Beck and whoever else, and and cherish every moment you have, and and he did that, and and Carson uh, played every game like he was his last, and. Uh, uh, I, I know moving forward, he'll he'll be a great inspiration to our guys, and we're going to rally around Easton Stick, and we're going to play good football. When did you first find out, and what went through your head? I mean, immediately. Uh, well, I learned he wasn't feeling great on Sunday, and then we were going to get more evaluation, and um, you know, I just I, I think more of of him as a person than I do the football team, and that's. Uh, I think that's probably human nature from a coaching standpoint is just what he's meant to me, what he's meant to our program of, gosh, I just, I, I, my heart just breaks for the kid. If you were fortunate enough to play into December, could he possibly return then? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you, Jeff. Okay. That's probably maybe something more after the surgery. Okay. Surgery tomorrow? Yeah. Um, Easton Stick, what about your confidence level in him? What makes you, what makes you? Well, it's, it's Easton's opportunity. I'm excited for Easton. Uh, he's prepared uh, the last six weeks like he is the guy. And so I know from a preparation standpoint, um, he'll be ready to go. I know athletically we're excited, just as all you are, to see what, what Easton can do. And uh, like I told him when I visited with him today, when we recruited you, we didn't recruit you to come in here and just be a practice player. I know it's unfortunate and how uh, you're, you're going to become the starter this week with Carson's injury, but uh, it's your opportunity. It's, it's, it's your chance to, to show what you can do and leave your legacy. Who's number three now? James Hendricks. James? Yeah. Yep. Okay. What was Stick's reaction to the injury and subsequently him starting this weekend? I, I think he was excited about the opportunity. Obviously, crushed for Carson, uh, and because those two are very close, those the three of those guys are so close, uh, Cole included. But I think it was now once it settled in, boy, this is my opportunity, and I, I can't dwell on it, nor can any of us dwell on it. We've got to move forward. Uh, last night we had a great practice with Easton and Cole, uh, getting the lion's share of the reps, and today it'll be the same way. And, and uh, Carson, we think, will be out there at practice today. Won't be out there tomorrow, but uh, uh, it's Easton's opportunity, and I, I know he's excited about it. What does it say about the toughness of Carson to continue to play through that injury? He was still completing passes the rest yeah, of the game. Doesn't surprise anybody is what I guess I'd say. Is it just uh, how tough a young man he is? I don't care if it's an ankle injury at Montana or or something else uh, in the playoffs last year. Um, he's a he's a tough, competitive guy that uh, uh, wants to do everything he can to be a servant leader, and that's to help his teammates win. I know you like to encourage the, the aggressiveness and, and encourage that competitiveness, but does part of you think and part of you talk to some of these guys about noticing those pains and those and, and answering those, maybe seeking help a little sooner? Or can you not? No, it's so hard. I mean, you're playing, you're, you're playing a football game, you're always going to get sore, beat up, banged up, whatever it may be, 
And if you can go, you can go. That's just the nature of the beast, the nature of the business. I'm sure if he thought I broke my wrist or if somebody thought I tore an ACL, whatever it may be, they'd pull themselves out. But if you think you can play, um, you're, you're, every, every football player is going to play. Coach, this may be a question for Easton, but you know Carson had the ankle problem early at Montana. There was speculation that he may not play. Does mm -hmm. Easton draw back on anything that he did that week and use it this week? Well, that's what I'm so excited about Easton is whether or not it was that week or last week leading into the South Dakota game, I just watch the way he prepares every week, and it's as if he is the starter, and that's where I'm excited. And Cole does the same thing, but I'm excited about, about Easton's opportunity because he does prepare like the first play he's going to have to go in the game. And when you do that, I think you're going to, have, you're going to see good success. Now, obviously, there's not the experience factor that we're all going to see how, you know, how he handles uh, some of the ad, you know, adversity and some of the conditions. But uh, uh, I'm excited about his opportunity, and we're going to, we're going to rally around the kid. You know, if he, and I told him, you, you just need to be Easton Stick. You don't need to be Carson Wentz. You need to be Easton Stick. Everybody else is going to raise their level of play. Uh, but you go and do what, what's in your capabilities to give us a chance to win. Coach, is this all new to you too? Trying to mid-season work in a different quarterback. Has this happened to you before? Do you have a history of this at any other coaching staff? Well, not as the head coach. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that, so it's it's pretty new. But uh, uh, you know, that's where it's a team game, and uh, it always happens where you lose somebody. And and this year it happens to be our quarterback, and uh, um, the next guy's gonna, it's the next man up, and that's the way the Bison have been. And uh, unfortunately, it's a it's a guy that's been uh, pretty dynamic in a position here uh, that's so important at quarterback. But uh, uh, now we're going to move forward, turn the page, uh, and, and get rally around Easton and get ready to play. Cash, could you be any more confident in a quarterback being ready with Randy Hedberg? up there coaching these guys to get ready? No, I mean, Randy's going to do a great job preparing them like he has every game for the last you know, six games at least for, for this year. So uh, um, I, the, we'll have a great plan uh, to utilize uh, uh, Easton's ability, but it's not going to change a lot, meaning uh, he does a lot of the same things Carson does. Obviously, you have to wait and see on how he heals and everything, but with what you know about the injury, Carson's going to get a lot of NFL looks. Is this affect that? Should he be able to come back no problem from this? Yeah, from what I understand, it's not going to affect anything at all uh, on that front.